Welcome everybody here to our next <coughs> webinar at uh, JFD Bank and a warm welcome in the name of uh, JFD Bank as well. My name is Stefan Friedrichowski as always for those kind of webinars and uh, today we talk about JFD Invest, improve your investing experience. Yeah, that's the topic of today. And uh, before I really start, I want to mention no oh, two things. So first of all, the date we have the 12th of June 2019, uh, one o'clock at least. Um, in Germany, so um, that's the time. And the other thing, whenever you like to see the recordings of those webinars and others, just go to uh, the web and then if you go for YouTube, um, YouTube and then JFD, then you are immediately um, on our YouTube channel and even you may su subscribe to that channel so that you have all the latest videos um, on hand. So that's a cool thing and uh, that should be mentioned because sometimes people ask for the recordings of those webinars and exactly the YouTube channel is the place to find them. What are the topics of today? Yeah, we talk about JFD Invest at all. So in general, what is that kind of uh, platform meant for? And you will see it's a social trading platform. You can follow trading strategies of professional traders. Those trades are directly copied into your JFD Invest account. So yeah, that's quite cool because that is one thing how you can start with trading as well, or you can just improve your experience. Uh, trading experience and your investing experience with that kind of platform. So that is JFT Invest. But the other thing we will talk today is, of course, as always, about my personal JFT Invest account. And uh, I can announce we have a new strategy, which is called Forex Gun. And uh, of course, that strategy, we will have a look uh, more close. Additionally, the good thing is that the strategy is directly from my end. So we will have a real look to the MT4 account, to the master account, and look how that strategy is running and how everything is done with that strategy. But before I start, um, let me shortly introduce you to uh, JFD um, Invest. So if you are on our web page, it's quite easy. Let me quickly go through those steps for all the ones which are new uh, here. So we start here <clears throat> with uh, JFD Invest and then you are already more or less on the hotspot of JFD Invest. Everything starts here with trading strategies. Trading strategies are master accounts run by professional traders. And you see already here the top performing strategies. Uh, and we you see that those strategies have double digit returns. So that's really a cool thing to have those um, maybe in your JFD Invest account as well. As you can see here, we have returns, we have equity balance deviation, we talk about that later. Last month's year to date, and let's look for year to date, you see hmm, quite good growth, not all every strategy, of course, it's trading, but you will see when it comes to my personal JFD Invest account that I follow a couple of strategies. So right now it's about five or six strategies. So Finally, what I did, and you could do the same, is you can create your own uh, JFD investor portfolio, meaning that you don't put all your money into one strategy. No, you diversify even um, over those different strategies, and that will give, bring a much smoother equity uh, to your account. So. Those are the top five performers. Uh, later we will see we have 15 strategies up and running and you can select between those and how you might do that procedure of which one fits to you because everything is all about your own preferences. We can talk about that already right now. If your preference is purely um, profit, of course, strategy would be Hyperion, um, no question. But maybe you have other um, trading conditions or uh, preferences about drawdowns, about minimum uh, account size and so on. And everything plays a role and that creates finally your uh, trading portfolio, if you like. So 
if you want to start with that and learn a little bit more about that, uh, so here are the four steps to become part of JFD Invest. First is you open a JFD Invest profile just by sign up. That's you can do in this. You can do any time. There's no money uh, involved. It's simply a process uh, to be registered and to get some more details about the trading strategies, if you like. You can use already, and that we will start with is the guest access because there you uh, can have a view on all the strategies not the same detailed if you are signed uh, in but anyhow so that you can do any time finally if you want to follow strategies then you have to run through the additional steps which means you have to open a jfd invest account which is a special one because uh, that one is a professional account uh, so you get the same conditions like the master accounts for those professional traders the maybe downside might be that you think hmm, you cannot trade by your own. So you cannot really open a trade by your own euro, US dollar long, for example, that you can't do, but you can follow those trading strategies. Finally, you connect each other. And then after you have deposited uh, some money into that account, you can follow uh, those strategies. But let's go into uh, JFD Invest and use I uh, have seen that I've just pressed the guest access, so that's the step you can do um, by your own, of course, uh, without being registered. And then you have some more details about the strategies, some more, uh, not only the top five performers, now we have 15 strategies, so there are two pages. Um, and but let's have a look to the key figures of any strategy and how to do that kind of review process I mentioned already. Once again, if it's just return, okay, let's have a view on Hyperion um, because that would be the first choice. That strategy has started at um, January 2018. And from that point in time, the strategy has achieved growth of uh, total 100%. So double the count when, within one and a half year, which is a remarkable result. So you see, uh, directly the growth of that account and uh, also you see up and down so there are drawdowns involved um, as uh, when it comes to trading anyhow but you have some more details if you like um, you have some monthly return table I always look to that as well see uh, especially to those red numbers because that means okay within April there was a minus of 15 percent so we have to keep that in a uh, in mind to do our review process. If such a number would be too high, okay, uh, I can understand. Um, for the one, if this is uh, a no-go. For the other one, he doesn't care about uh, such a number. So you have additional information, statistics about the strategy, like number of trades being executed, uh, which is quite high here in this case, and you can do some additional steps. For example, if you like to know what kind of instruments are traded, okay, you can get uh, the answer for that question as well. And you see, for this strategy especially, that strategy is trading more or less exclusively um, DAX and Dow Jones, so the first two symbols here. Um, um, about the uh, same amount of trades being executed. And there are some minor trades on other uh, symbols. So, but let's focus on DAX and Dow Jones because that is the focus of that trading strategy. But now back to the review process. So looking to drawdowns from here to here is one thing and you would see, oops, that's, that's about 50%. Um, but there's another thing we have to take into account and that is what is called equity balance deviation, which is a quite important key figure because it means if you open trades, then you have might have floating profits or floating losses, which means you open trades, yeah, they are um, on the right side or maybe on the wrong side, hmm. as always when it comes to trading. But in this case, it means that we, if you have an equity balance deviation of up to 40%, it means there have been open trades totally in the minus and 
from the percentage from the account has been a minus 40 percent and we can view have a view on that even um, versus time if you press equity balance deviation here then you can see okay that was in september last year uh, having that maximum or mathematically correct uh, that minimum but anyhow you know what i mean and overall it's about 10 to 15 percent so we have to take into account if we follow that strategy that we have floating losses and that is a little bit like if it if you look to your normal trading activities it, it's you you go to bed and see you have minus trades and it's the next morning you wake up and have a look at again and if you do something like that mm, that's not a good thing i have to admit uh, because that means maybe you are over invested so but anyhow that means we have to um to to live with those floating losses uh so to say and you see the amount and if you like if you if you can live with that then nevertheless a perfect strategy and you can see other things here as well if um, i want to mention that as well here equity because sometimes people are asking hey what, what happens here uh so up up to here everything seems uh, quite okay but then we have a step down was that uh, minus trades in this case no um because how how you, you can figure out by yourself one is you see already here there have been withdrawals and that was exactly the case at that position and if you compare that picture with the overall growth and you don't have that step down um at the same point in time in the growth then it's definitely a deposit or a withdrawal uh, on that account so what for counts finally for me is looking to the growth uh, because if um, the master account has withdrawals yeah it's anyhow it's a matter of uh, uh, that um, particular trader who is responsible for that uh, account talking about responsibilities it means as there are professional traders behind all those strategies and um before a strategy is placed here at JFT and West, there has been always a review process, meaning um, everything has to be on the table to do that kind of review process. Uh, and only if um, everything is all right, then strategy is placed at JFT and West. But let's have a look to other strategies that you get a feeling of what are the differences of uh, different uh, strategies. For example, let's have a look to Goldmine. Uh, which was strategy uh, since November 2017. Uh, Gross, okay, not that high as Hyperion in this case, it's 25% about. And we have here drawdowns in the gross, yeah, okay, but finally strategy recovered. Let's have a view on equity balance deviation in order to get a feeling how much floating losses do we have to accept if we would follow that kind of strategy then you see totally different picture so maximum has been close to six percent uh, on average it's more like minus one minus two percent so that strategy is much less volatile than the other one mentioned on the other hand it does not show the same overall profit okay and now it's really up to you to decide which strategy you like more um, more risk more potential return or like this one which uh, is um, less volatile or let's have a view on another one which is uh, less volatile as well that is uh, Archimedes and uh, you see okay we have uh, drawdowns still yes but in this case equity balance deviation is up to uh, five percent so on average it's uh, more or less about minus one percent in this case this kind of strategy has a uh, quite interesting symbols being traded and you see in this case we um as the majority of our trades is executed on euro polish slotty uh, that might be a little bit exotic for you but uh, anyhow you see what you can do by trading such an exotic instrument i can tell you a little bit more about why is it profitable or can that 
be profitable. Uh, the main reason is um, that such an underlying is, let's call it, quite stable. It's more or less always in a sideward phase. And if you have a strategy which is um, brilliant exactly in those kind of market conditions, yeah, then this is the right instrument for exactly those kind of market conditions. If we would trade in this case uh, Euro Japanese Yen with the same strategy, I can tell you we would not be profitable at all. So hmm, uh, that will be not the best for this one. But therefore, the strategy is trading more those um, pairs which are quite boring, to, so to say, and uh, then that strategy is running quite excellent. You see all green numbers, uh, quite cool. I mentioned there's a new one. Which is a new one? So the new one is Forex Gun. Um, Forex Gun is a new strategy and let's have a view on that as well. Uh, overall, you see uh, since April 2018, that was the inception date of that uh, strategy, we have a return of 20%. So in about a little bit more than one month, 20%. Quite well. Equity balance deviation is minus 10. But now let's have a view on how the strategy um, a little bit more close. Here you see hmm, it's quite interesting behavior. Uh, it looks a little bit like two uh, lines uh, with different slopes. So, slope since December last year uh, has been slowed down a little bit. But anyhow, the strategy is extremely stable. And you see we have had. Um, equity balance deviations at the very beginning uh, here and uh, the heaviest one here but we, you know now we can have a view on that um, much more in detail and here you see exactly that uh, drawdown but finally those trades have been in profit again but overall um, it's uh, below one percent Talking about drawdowns, you see, okay, from here to here downwards, it's about uh, 10%. Um, for me, that is definitely acceptable, but others may think different. Uh, so it's always up to you what kind of preferences you have to create your overall <coughs> JFD invest portfolio. Before I go to my portfolio, let's have a view on what kind of instruments are traded with a Forex gun. And that's quite easy, that table. <laughs> it's just Euro US dollar. It's only trading exactly that Forex pair and nothing else. As I promised, I can show you a little bit more about the strategy. Um, since I'm directly responsible for that one, uh, I have, of course, access to the master account and we can have a view on that on uh, my uh, virtual private server. Here is this one and uh, here we are. Here is the master account of Forexcar. So you see, of course, we have only one chart open, uh, which is Euro US dollar. That's all we trade with that uh, strategy. And as you can see right now, there are two open trades. There are um, short trades on um, Euro US dollar and um, as we speak, those are in the minus, uh, to be exact, uh, six euros in the minus uh, right now. But let me tell you a little bit more of how the strategy is working. The strategy is working with an EMA, as you can see already within the chart. And finally, the strategy uh, is looking for trade sequences. If we would have no open trade and we would look as we speak, then the strategy would act the following. It would compare the actual price, which is here, with the current EMA, which is here. So we are above that EMA. And in this case, the strategy is opening a short trade back to the EMA. So it's a kind of counter uh, trend strategy. So it would open a short trade in this case. Um, and uh, next thing is mm, the first trade will run. If it would hit, take profit, perfect. Um, but if we have higher floating losses, then the strategy is doing rebuys. You may think, who doing rebuys in losses? So that is uh, quite dangerous. Yes and no. The good thing is, if you still apply stop losses for that overall trade sequence, then you can even do things like that doing 
even rebuys. But only if you have those to, uh, those additional stop loss, uh, you can manage the overall risk, and then strategy is finally um, on a good way. It does not work for all um, for all instruments. Therefore, in this case, we use it only for Euro US dollar. There are a few other ones, but uh, let's talk about that at a different point in time later when we, uh, in a couple of months when we introduce um, additional several um, strategies like that but anyhow this is how forex gun is working a quite cool strategy i think uh, with very good results and if for example you would like to follow that one let's go here a little bit more in detail i press the button details then you can see other things Maybe very important is the minimum investment sum. In this case, it's um, 3,400 euros. Uh, that is the minimum investment, the minimum allocation um, amount you have to invest into that strategy if you like to follow that. And oh, there are already two people following that uh, since uh, we introduced the strategy. I think it was yesterday. And so that are early birds here following that strategy already. And um, that's the one thing I would like to mention, minimum investment. And the other thing, because I don't want to hide that one, overall, for all the strategies, there's a performance fee involved. So there's no management fee or something like that, but performance fee. Performance fee means only in this case, uh, since it's calculated according to high watermark, only if you have profits, you have to pay fees. And then in this case, 25% of the profits. And high watermark means only if um, you reach new highs with your followed strategy, and then on the, on the month's end base, then uh, that fee would be uh, charged, but only then. And it's only on months end based. Um, but of course, if you close the strategy, if you stop allocation before, uh, then in case there are profits, uh, of course, then the performance fee um, uh, will be charged. Uh, will be charged as well. I mentioned I want to show you a complete portfolio. And uh, since the inception of uh, JFD Invest, uh, that was September last uh, year, uh, I opened by myself a JFD Invest account. And uh, what you can see here is my overall profit since inception of JFD Invest. So I started with uh, 10K Euro uh, in September when we launched JFD Invest. And I followed a couple of strategy from time to time. I do changes, as I mentioned always in this webinar uh, as well. And overall, I have a steady growth. And then all of a sudden, one drawdown here. Um, um, as there have been other slight drawdowns or uh, minor drawdowns before, but the big one was here. I can tell you the reason. I'm I'm transparent with that as well. Uh, I followed a specific strategy, which was FX Global and uh, Galileo, and both strategies uh, hit my uh, protection limits because for all the strategies, what you can do is you can protect yourself, the, um, like uh, how much money a strategy is, so to say, allowed to lose, and that was hit, and therefore I have a dollar. Okay. I can live with that because still I have a gross profit of uh, 66, uh, 26%, which is quite huge. So still there are profits um, and steady growth with uh, overall. So it looks fine for me. And that is my portfolio. If I talk about a portfolio, okay, then we can uh, have a, a view on my current allocation. Allocation means what strategies I'm following, which with what amount of money. And here you see my personal list. And you see six strategies uh, are um, following uh, within my personal JFD Invest portfolio. And as you can see, if you compare balance and equity, uh, those two numbers, you can see exactly what's, as we speak, as causing some floating losses, that is a strategy uh, Hesperus, because there I have about 600 floating losses. You see difference between balance and equity, which is always um, open trades. And um, yeah, I can tell you already, 
what's my opinion. Um, when that strategy finally, hopefully, recovers those trades, I will exchange that strategy to Forex Gun, uh, definitely. And um, but right now, if I would close them, then I would realize uh, th those losses. So therefore, I still have time. Uh, reason for those losses are open trades, especially on Euro. Uh, British pound, and uh, there are uh, short trades open, and um, yeah, since that went into the other direction uh, up, uh, over the last couple of weeks, therefore I have those uh, floating losses. But anyhow, let's wait uh, for for the recovery, and then hopefully I can exchange uh, that strategy to uh, Forex Gun, which would. Now, my next step for investing, you see which one I follow here, uh, which uh, strategies. Um, and um, if I have enough money, then I would follow two strategies, Forex Gun and Archimedes. Uh, those one would be my personal next step um, for changes in my overall uh, allocation. Nevertheless, since I, man I, I mentioned uh, something like uh, there's some risk management involved, let me simulate uh, what I mean with that so that you can see uh, what's really around that. So if I would try to follow right now Forex Gun, and you can see I cannot do because my available balance is not high enough. We saw already that the minimum investment is 3,400. Um, so, that money is not available, so therefore I cannot follow. But you see the bottom risk management. What's about that? If I press that and I accept the terms, then you can see I have a slider, this one here. Uh, and what that means is, let's put that on 50%. Uh, uh, and assume that I would allocate 3,400 euros, then it simply means if during following the strategy Forex Gun, that strategy in my followed account would cause a loss of 1,700 euro, even floating loss, then I'm automatically stepped out, stopped out, so to say, out of the strategy and all open trades are closed. Uh, so it's a risk protection. Now you say, may say, oh, then let's go for 10. Yeah, now, if you look to a given strategy, you saw that some strategies have uh, equity balance deviation exceeding, for example, 10%. So then it would not be a wonder if um, from time to time it would hit that 10% level. So having that slider on the left side, maybe it's okay for you in terms of risk management, but it might mean that you are stopped out during following that strategy. So. That is the, uh, the, the bottom risk management, and that can be used according, once again, to your personal preferences. Okay, overall, um, you see the growth. So that is what you might achieve with JFD West, or even better. Uh, I definitely uh, not telling you that this uh, mixture I have here is the best at all, um, but it's the best for me, according to my preferences. Okay, so uh, anyhow, uh, it's possible to really earn money with JFD Invest. And um, what I always recommend is do that kind of review process, go through the strategies, look to the instruments traded, look to drawdowns, look to equity balance deviations, and set your own limits. And then finally, you get exactly those strategies you might follow, and that those strategies could create your personal uh, portfolio. That's for now. I hope you enjoyed uh, and having some more and um, details about the new strategy, Forex Gun. I think a cool one, uh, good growth, um, less drawdowns, and uh, quite stable, not that volatile. So maybe that is a strategy strategy for you as well. If you like, we can see each other next week. Uh, we will have a next uh, webinar about uh, JFD Invest, improve your trading and investing experience. And once again, I would like to mention, if you want to see the recordings, uh, just go 
uh, through the JFD YouTube channel, and then you can find all the recordings and all the other webinars, and you may, may even subscribe, it doesn't involve costs, then you get always a notification that new um, recorded new videos about uh, trading have been launched, and so you are always up to date. That's for now. Enjoy your time. See you again next week. Bye-bye.